Oh, are we all? Yeah, we're on. Yay! We're rolling. Oh, actually, and the game is starting. Uh, and the game is just starting. We had various technical problems. Yeah. None of them to do with EU4 this time, though. So, no. which is reassuring because we are playing with hot, hot code. It's so hot. I'm. No, I'm not burning. No, no, no. I think people notice if you're burning, but <laughs> but, but we are here. Yeah. Yes, so. and we do have one piece of grim tidings. Sadly, we are a player down. Yes. The uh, Queen is now an AI country. Wiz is no longer playing. Wiz is no longer with us. Uh, well, no, he is still with us, don't worry. <laughs> uh, it's not that bad, don't panic. No, uh, Wiz uh, has no chance for a trophy, so... No, seriously, uh, Wiz left because he's uh, busy as game director for Utopia, and there's a lot of work there. Yeah, so the, if you're fans of Stellaris, it's all good news. <laughs> Rest in peace, Wiz. No, yes. he hasn't died. Yes. He's working on uh, Stellaris and he's... Yes, so if you're, if you're fans of Dev Class, sorry, yes, I know you've lost a popular player, but just think of the Stellaris. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, what's happening here? We have the, the Thunderdome ended in a negative or positive note, depending on who you're a fan of. Yes. And um, apparently the word on the street is there'll be yet more Thunderdome action coming to an India near you. We're seeing a tear. Um, Rachel is busy ending the Mamelukes. I think he's helping the Mamelukes towards something. We're not quite sure what. Joining his realm. Yes, he's helping the Mamelukes become Ethiopian again. Yes, as they should be. Yeah. So it's going well for him. Clearly. How was... Uh, I think we should... Um, why, why, why do we get the scores up first? Just let people know the, the state of play here, because we do have... Oh, we have new here. What do you guys see here? Oh, do these filters work? I think so. I don't know. But yes, as we can see, we have an all-new score chat. Yeah. So... What are you... Are you admiring your score chart here, Johan? Are you that pleased yeah, with it? Yeah, it's green. It's green. You can That's see the Ethiopia player. there. So who's the top score gaining? Ethiopia is Ethiopia. our top player. Go Ethiopia. Right now. And they're getting plus two a month. Which they're... is not bad, I hear. No, they control two victory cards. Who's gaining the most though? Divet. Divet is certainly piling up score, but he has no victory cards at all. Nope. Leaving him obviously way behind the score charts. But he's gaining. Second place though is Kilwa. No guy has one. Yes, no guy has a victory card. His second victory card though is on the Ottomans. And it's official. They are just a bit of an animal. The Ottomans are strong here. What yeah. are they in? They're a great power? They are the greatest power. They have the largest army. Um, as Gleebnom will tell you, he when he tried to intervene in Indian Thunderdome, he ended up getting Ottomans and had to leave and no, the war. And no guy is strong. No guy is strong, but the Ottomans... Well, they're not bad too. And he's in a war. With he's uh, liberating Sweden. Yes, he's liberating Sweden from the Swedes, which is a sensible move. I fully approve of it. Norway is helping out. Yeah, the path. Norway's an ally, of, yes. Yeah. Sweden's going to lose this war. Because Norway started this war. Swedish, no, Sweden, Sweden, is current, yeah. Sweden is attacking Norway, warmongers. Yeah, and Norway is... Uh, Norway is peaceful. Yeah, they're peaceful. They are a tributary of Nogai. Yes. So We're in the middle of Age of Reformation. Mm -hmm. When will we get the Age of Absolutism? When global trade is discovered? So 18, 28 years, we'll probably see it at the earliest. Maybe at the end of this session? Maybe, maybe not. Yes, so what the, what has Gruge done? Well, he, he tried to write his name in Japanese as Loverboy Henki ninety one and discovered that we don't support Japanese characters. No, which is an amazing discovery. No, no UTF eight in this game. Yes, Korea. So it does add a certain something to our, our our chart. So what do you think Letter C will do? Will he get his victory cards on? Uh, well, definitely the Ching or Jijamana. Yes, well, definitely the with the. With Martin gone, it does change Wiz's, uh, Letter Z's position here because they were obviously tight allies working together and now he's got to, re got to get himself a new ally. 
Oh, well, he could gobble up the ching. Well, or get get himself big. We'll see what he does. Also, if you check those die vets, the victory cards, though. The old player slayer himself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and he's got another one though. On Korea. Ooh. Yes. So that could be definitely an interesting one. Will he go for his victory card? Only one man knows that. But there's no worse. No. So. No, our fans would say our our. our this is not our fans. Well, yeah, they are our fans as well, but they are our developers. I'm to give peace a chance. Oh, right. Salt is up. Brew Mexico is growing. Brew They're Mex saving... Uh... And Brew America as well. Yes. I believe that Brunei has a dream of going to Europe. That's what... That's what yeah, that's what salt, Salty Daniel was There's a French down. colony there. There's some Mali. 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 Great Britain, a uh, British Brazil, but we're we're saying that the uh, salt is good there. But yes, yeah, see, Bratton has got himself quite a an Inca empire there, and this is an insane income. And his his inflation actually isn't that bad, which I was very impressed with. So if we're going on the income, he is the second richest country in the world, then Korea. Because Leto Z is sitting on some very nice real estate there in northern China. And he's got a fair chunk of manpower, does the Z man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just looking through it because then. Yes. The Incas are. There's no wars, it's only no guys fighting. Yeah, it's trying to trying to save Sweden. Oh, and we're seeing the Swedish armies are marching deep into. Yeah, but it, Sweden, it's thirty k. Sweden's gonna have to take a lot of land before he really gets them. Um, yeah, any and Novgorod's scope. getting occupied. Here's the Nogai armies. Yes, but Sweden has uh, it's AI, but they still have all the Swedish ideas. Yeah, and defensive uh, ideas as well, which is not a bad thing if you're defending. And they got administrative, so with the mercenaries, they are... Yeah, I mean, this is a good combo set of ideas AI's gone for. We've been working on this AI continuously since release, and we do feel... Except, the, well, the military, I'm not sure what they're doing now. I think they're going after Finnmark. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Meanwhile, Daniel is in war. Yes. Oh, no. Nah. Meh. He's attacking something. Mahikan and... Well, you... Yeah, there we are. He's he's freeing America. He attacked them, but his oh yeah, there we see. Yes, there we are. So will the glorious Brunean salty armies win this battle? I don't know. It's fourteen to one. It's quite long odds, but I think despite overwhelming odds in his favor, he will win. There was a Brulombia. Yes, Brulombia is there. There is Brumerica, Brumexico. I see a very common theme in these colonial nations, and soon I will figure it out and be able to share it with you. But they're taking there. So, and we have Jamanis at war with the. With? Shun, Oirat, and Chi. And they got. And Korea. Korea and Usega. Oh. So, uh, let your see us falling in with the. With the Japanese, with the crazy samurai. But it's, it's, a, it's a bold move. We're. They only have C B or victory cards on each side. So. Yes, so I don't know how long these the samurai can hang together, but we'll see. They'll hang all together, or yeah, or will they hang separately? But I think Korea is taking a chunk here. Yeah, I think basically they're going to be carving this up between them. Makes perfect sense. Get a bit more ground going. Play Slayer has joined the war. No, he started a separate war against them here. Yeah, he's inside. obviously going to get his share of the loot. Oh, there the Play Slayer. Yes, yeah, so why no. is he fighting there? He's um, he's trying to find a place that isn't sieged by looks of it. Imse started a war as well. Yeah, it looks like it's um, it's gang. Uh, yeah, Mong Yang and Ayutthaya has a close cooperation. It looks like a pure. They went on she from the other side. It's like. 
Okay, so the Japanese and Korean are taking some part, but... Uh, yeah, it looks like everyone's now jumping in to try and get their share of the loot. And this just about... Yeah, we'll see who gets the best shares. We will keep... Munshang here. David's taking this one. Yeah, it looks, it's all looks very civilised at the moment. Gotta wonder how long we can keep this up. And does that... Ayatau has a last territorial demand there. I think the Ning here. Oh, they're a vassal of. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's a quite a war. I, yes, there's still, I call there's it still a... morning whiz in, in chat. Yes. yes. And lover boy Henke's fanboys still think he's groogie. I don't know what his name is. That's Loverboy Henki, apparently, in in Japanese, then. The yes. Jew is trying to get... Yes, I wonder if the... Regular finished his war in um, against the Mamluks. I wonder what loot he got. The Jew... It's a tributary of Daivet. Yeah, it didn't really help him. <laughs> yes, people are wondering how long the peace can remain in Asia. They can't keep going after AIs forever. Uh, Sergei is annexing the... The Ning. Ning. <laughs> yes, no, it's... It's all looking a bit grim for the Chinese states. They make China, Japan again. So how's Gnevum's uh, war going? Still, uh, well, yeah, it's a rebel problem. Minor rebel problem, really. He's been sieging down a lot, but... Uh, yeah, due to his minor rebel problem. Yeah. The AI is busy taking care of... He also appears to have a money problem. On. He's got a few loans there. Yeah, but... Um, Norway has no armies. Colonizing Bermuda. Yes. It's gonna be gonna be good. But they are the war leader. Oh, Fido is lagging behind. Poor show Fido. Yeah. I think that this uh Oh, Norwegian separatists in the Yeah, well, they'll free Norway back to his tributary state, so it's not all bad for him there, but it looks like his rebels are... Oh, Poland as well. Poland attacking... The Livonian Order. Yeah, and Livonian Order is uh, probably a tributary. Yes, he's, this is what happens to get too many tributaries. Especially close to Europe. This can be interesting. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's lots and lots of wars going on here. And no guy has not yeah. really the armor to fight them all off. Yeah, we've got a special request though. Should we see how Ragnar did with his war? Did he get... How much? Are, well, the Mamluks are looking a bit smaller. Yeah, and they're getting attacked by Shammar. Yeah, it's a bit embarrassing for them. Oh, they can purchase an ability. It's got a, I would go for the... So isn't this he, the alre one? he already has one, two, three different ones. Easier for conversion. I would go for the culture conversion cost one. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's only a few years left, so. <laughs> Might as well get it while you can. But yes, it's looking, looking good there for him. You could start a golden era. Oh. Oh. Sooner or later, someone's going to. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's return back to here and we can see that it's all looking a bit grim for the Chinese AIs. I don't think I there's going to be much uh, left of them. Daiviets are occupied most of it in this one. So yeah, this looks like a loot race here where every, you know, they're all trying to do I think each Daivet other. wants to like reach up here and get the... Yes, keep, you know, well don't, you don't want the Japanese to get too much. No, not the Ichin. Yes. But who's, who are the Qing allied with? They are Daivet tributary. 
an allied with Brunei. Brunei. Mm -hmm. So Korea can't really attack them. Without taking on the old slayer himself. But what happens if that happens at the same time? Will the Gujarat and Vienagar be able to destroy Jumper and Bengal alone? Well, you got to remember that Jake is obviously a lot stronger. He's, he's, you know, he's obviously done very well there. And this then leaves him with a minor problem that's far harder to sign up allies when you're not, you know, at death's door. So, yeah, we'll see if he can actually get... Nibom has one army left. Well, it's quite a big army. It's not a bad army, though. But yeah, he's marching off to to end the Swedish menace once and for all. It's a good Swedish leader there, though. Ah. 335 is... Uh... Better than two tuba. He's inspirational. You see these crack horde troops for the horde. Oh yeah. Yes, it's, it's a slaughter. It's one hell of a beating. Yes. Novgorod is. Uh... Is he now chasing after that Swedish army? Yeah, the Swedish army is. But there's Shagatai Armors there. Yeah, he's got his allies along and everything. It's What's Poland doing there? Mm. Not doing very well. Oh, Lithuania is... Uh, is, in, is it helping out here as well. And you're seeing the Ottomans. The Ottomans are rolling on. They're bringing the pain. There's the quite Ottomans a lot. have attacked. Poland, well, no one was looking. That's quite an epic army the Ottomans have. I don't think Poland's much of a problem. Gnivom's getting saved by the Ottomans. Yeah, well, I, I, they seem appear to have this love-hate relationship where sometimes the Ottomans help them, other times they don't. I think Africa's divided a little bit here. Yes. Mali, Kanemborno, Ethiopia and Kilwa. Yes, now I believe that Ka Kanemborno, um, Grekov, was saying he has a dream of getting to Europe. He was heading off to, um, heading off to Italy. That's him. That's his, he's thinking big there. Yeah, he has the coastline. Yeah, he has the coastline. He maybe wants a bit of a bigger one to get Aragon is strong. Yes. And they're defeating Klemch and whatever. I, I can't pronounce that, so I'm not even worth bother trying. Yeah. They want to take... Uh, yeah. Kacheris. Yeah, is... they're going to kick him out of Iberia by looks of it. Yeah. Is that Castile there? Yeah. All right. Castile's a bit smaller. Yeah. And Galicia. Leon. And Galicia. All right. It's a weird... Oh. I do, they do have a question here. It's a good one here. The era bonuses. When you switch to a new era, what's happening? What happens to these great bonuses you had? They go poof. They go poof. Oh, dear. Which is rather unfortunate. He has only the merchant trade power. Hmm. Well, uh, speaking of that, next, in two weeks time when we continue the MP of the GDC, you'll see that we actually changed our first age abilities because, let's face it, culture conversion, force conversion, and stronger merchants were utterly boring. Mm -hmm. And we're getting more military bonuses. Because mm -hmm. yes, this is a be, war game. Sadly, there'll be no multiplayer stream next week because you, you'll be in GDC. But uh, myself and Jake will see what we can do to keep you amused. So it'll be an all Scottish stream. We will try and get subtitles arranged for those of you who don't speak Scottish. Oh, sorry. So... Oh, I thought that was a good joke. Yeah, well, it's more like, uh, what's the difference between Scottish and English? It's all in this. Well, if you really want me to go full Scottish, but apparently you should never go full Scottish. No, I've heard that's not always the greatest thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, no guy. Oh, they're advancing here. Yes, no, he's rolling forward now. He's got his. But the Swedish army is here. That's a whole lot of Swedes there. Taking back the Natabori. Yeah. And the Polish army is. Poland is. Poland's getting... obviously clearly just given up on the Ottomans. Going, we've lost this one. Might as well just try and get something out of the Livonian order. Oh, they're marching down somewhere. They're marching there. Okay, great. um, Icky stopped his war in China. I wonder what loot he got. 
Oh, it's hard to tell, but yeah, I clearly got something. Yeah. Let's use the diplomatic map mode when I show it's not colored yet. Well, that's very... Very generous, just Very, very, very um, gentle. He's got very low meritocracy. Yeah. I agree, I don't agree meritocracy either. This is a game about aristocracy. But he has uh, three of the reforms. Yeah. So he's on his way to reforming his empire. Yeah. Well, then be, will, will Icky become a complete animal if he reforms his empire? Will he be unstoppable? Nah, he'll just be very, very powerful. Right. But... But all of this is occupied by the... Mong Yang looks like it. Well, Mong Yang has said mountains are the th are where, where, where they're at. So they're going... If it's a mountains, Mong Yang wants it. Yeah. If we're going to watch the... It's quiet in the Thunderdome. Yes. How's the institutions? Oh, Ithaya's actually... got everything. Yeah. Bengal's starting to get the spreads. Mm -hmm. Part of Daiviat here from... Should we see if Jake's got any ideas yet? It, isn't that cruel? Well, we might as well. I, I, I know he decided like tech and ideas was something for other people. Oh, wow. He's getting some defensive ideas there. Yeah, two of them is picked. And there's Welt. He's going for religious ideas now. There's an interesting choice. No, he's only picked. He hasn't picked it. He can take it, but he's not. I wonder why he picked religious ideas. Maybe Jake will come down and tell. And yes, it even made Gonva eyes just one promise. Yes. So it's probably not worth it. So if we're looking at the entire world, where is the different Kilvice advanced? Aithaya is there. Japan was advanced previously. Yeah. Europe, of course. That's where Europe's where it's at. And even the Incas have got a few institutions there. Yeah, they're working on the printing press that's spreading there. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so alpaca-powered printing press. That would just be so awesome. Because they're bordering... Yeah, via Portuguese colonies down there. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder, how about technology? This is ah, Inca is no. far behind. Africa is far behind. Ethiopia, not bad. Persia, oh. But look at Janapur there, sitting there a bit behind his Indian friends. These ones are the red wastelands, basically. Yes. They get behind, but Mongyang and Aithaya, are they the sleeper? Well, they're definitely building some quite epic countries. And there, the Indonesia's we'll are. Oh, Aithaya signed peace. Yeah. Took. Oh, he's working on his little. Took a province down there. Pouring a little bit there. Yeah. So let's see. Quite a lot of provinces. Yeah, there's only two new provinces there. Yeah, the rest are um, coring states. Yeah. Mong Yang appears to advance a bit further into the mountains. So, slightly less loot on offer for the letter Z, D note, and lover boy Henke. Oh, this was a 20 development promise, that's probably why they take Shunking. Yeah, well, it's probably, probably took up most of the war score. But oh, this one is uh, expensive as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going Devastation. Oh, yep, it's, when you get looted by three countries in turn, there's going to be a lot of devastation. Yeah, there. it's not that much, but still, this is... Who's owning this one? Yeah, Korea. Yeah, that's the one that's Korea seized. Obviously not yet recovered. How's India looking? Has India recovered from its last set of wars? Well, good Gujarat. Still got a bit to go there. It's obviously, but Jampur's got some decent development. Mm -hmm. But if we're going like this, what's the developed countries? Well, Europe? Ayataya has the most developed province in the world. I see a bright little jello thing here. Is this the capital? No, development 35. Yeah, but it looks like it's Inca's kind of. Hopefully, I think it's how, where they want to get their tech in. Tunis has. Alright, Grekul's gone to war. Tunis. Tunis, yeah, he's obviously. Alexandria, against. 53 development. That's not bad going, but I think. 66 development is the most diff. Yeah. 
Some of the Korean provinces. Not bad going there from Korea. Beijing. Giren was that probably the old capital in the Qing Empire? Yeah. That's the, still the capital. It's not a nice, nice piece of real estate if you can get it. They're still fighting the Qing. Yeah, they start. I think, did they jump in first and then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Greco here is looking to carve himself a bigger chunk of coastline, but where's his army? Oh, or did 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 Tudis attack him? Oh no, he. Eh? But where is his army? Check check that war score. His army is his army been wiped. Yeah, he's been stack wiped. Oh dear, Greco. He's been stack wiped by, by the it. AI. He's he's got a huge country. It's. How, how big is this country? It's 400 development. He's fighting a two province three minor. He's, don't forget about his little island. Yeah, so three province minor. He goes in with 11k troops. Or 9k troops only. He uh, yeah, he's building his... Yeah, he lost the two stacks. Separate times stack wiped. He's lost 18k. Hmm. That's a bit embarrassing. I'm just like, I'm sorry, Daniel, but... Yes, not impressed. No, and he's uh, getting his, uh, this fort here getting siege down. If oh, Inca's apparently developed the printing press. Oh, that's cool. All um, on his own. Apparently that's where, that's, where it's, that's where it spawned. Oh, uh, Gnevom lost the war to Sweden. Uh, Dev hacks. Sweden took a little bit out of there. Clearly, the, clearly, paradox is I'm still not sure overpowering uh, Sweden. What happened in the Polish war? But they, they're defeating Novgorod. Poland's yeah. getting uh, Ottoman. Yes, but the Ottomans appear to have a few um, rebels going. Or laser. Oh, uh, well. so our laser's obviously here to bail out his ally. Yeah. Yes, there we are. Some real armies come marching in. Yeah, Rikar is a far better. The Incas is a Breton. Oh. Yes, Salty Daniel saying to check out his allies. Salty Daniel is allied with. Let's see, who has he got? He's got Daiviat. That... Riga. That looks like Sweden still. Oh. Thank you. France. France, Daiviat, Mepit, and Pasai. That's not a bad set of alliance. Oh, France has recovered. They. Yeah, they're looking a bit bigger. Oh. Yes, sir. Um. They're also losing a war. Austrian succession war. War of Austrian succession against Aragon. Well, that would certainly turn Aragon into just a bit of a beast. Bremen, Pomerania, Saxe, Lauenburg. Yeah. Not called in. No. Yes, it's... So will the Mali troops... I think the Mali troops could turn the tide here. Yeah, 40,000. Uh, have they managed to stack wipe? The, when uh, it comes to technology, Tunis take 14. Yeah, you need a massive... No, they didn't fight. All right. Well, I, can, I think the Tunis army has been destroyed now. Probably. Yes, our laser or saves the day. Ooh, well, I wonder if they're watching the stream or not, because this is a bit, of, a bit of a surprise move. Oh, this is going to be so fun. It's going to be interesting, Will. Let's... Yeah, so still trying to beat up in China here. I just want us to show... This is for pure comedy gold here by the AI. Yeah, good job. And do you see the red ones here? Yes. Everyone sees them, but it's Rickard seeing it. Oh, we don't, I don't know. Maybe... And why is this army standing here sieging? Or attritioning to death? I don't know. Oh, but, ah, he looks like he's spotted the danger. Yes, we've analysed their attack plan and there could be a danger. Yeah, no, they still haven't beaten up China. They started the war first. And they're sitting down the lost promises. Yeah, they got 99 war scores, so I don't Oh, uh, 71 here. Hold out, Chengdu, you're the lost Chinese fortress. Yes. 
And, oh, oh, so goes China. Okay, these guys must. Uh, be. Ning has been annexed fully by the Urs. You see, yeah. oil rats. It's looking a bit grim for them. He's got war exhaustion, a looming disaster. He definitely doesn't want this, that one. No. Oh, Bushy Influence. Oh. And he's raising his war taxes, so... Yeah. So This has been quite an exhausting war for the lover boy, Henke. And he still haven't picked up all his ideas. Yes. Yes, I wonder how Yusegi are doing. Oh, there we go. I don't, I'm not sure about Grugi's kind of strategy here. I don't like the feng shui of his Chinese German and North China, possessions there. It's very but easy to... There's still a chi there. Shan hasn't lost all that much. Yeah, but there was... But they are shunning that province. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not very good strategic position there. If if D-Note in the letter Z decided that Yamana didn't, didn't need China anymore... Yeah, like... I mean, I would have done, because if I played Uzerge... Yeah, you would have gone for your victory cards by now? Yes, I would have attacked him, because he has victory cards on me, and... Or actually, if you're comparing them, you can go to the ledger and compare, that's probably the easiest. If you're going income, where do we see them? There's the Yaman. Jamana 21, Usagi 17. Yeah. If we're going development, Jamana is bigger than Usagi. Manpower, though, there's a big difference between the two. That is a lot of extra yeah, manpower. Yeah, but they have uh, the joint conserve. Yep. Ah, uh, Levy and Master took quantity. He's gone for full quantity. We have a special request to see what Persia is up to. What? They're going here and yeah. they're taking down Chamar and and Yemen. I think this will be an old Persian. Yes, I think clearly Ethiopia and Persia have done a bit of a deal. They both work in Crusader Kings 2 together, so they they are looking quite good there. Yeah, an, they're winning this war. Yes. Hormos is... I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. He declared war on a German. Oh. Is he also getting his little slice of Yemen? Yep. He's getting yep. a bit of mocha there. Wants a bit of coffee, clearly. And he wants to control the straits. Yes. It's far better to have this one and a big, huge fort there mm -hmm. just to block. Yeah. Or basically, this one's even better. Yeah. And then have a fort here. Mm -hmm. Well, it's also where's um, the trade power going? Which one has got the trade power there? Uh, yeah, Aiden as well. So those three there get a bit of bonus trade power. <laughs> Obviously not bad. Have have Greco for our, our laser still not defeated. Tunis. They're trying to take back here. Oh yeah, they're winning. They're winning. They're winning. They're winning. <laughs> but they have a huge morale and. Yes, but they're... But they're sieging down. Mm -hmm. Go Tunis. Are we all sharing for Tunis here? I'm sure they are. Tunis as... Tunis is doing rather well. He has one army left. Oh yeah, they're all... Oh, this is a sneak, sneaky little maneuver here by the Tunis AI. Obviously, it's still up to... Yes, sir. Glorious Tunis. Oh, someone's asking who owns Malta. That looks like Sicily. Yeah. yeah I reckon that flag there definitely looks like Sicily. So, there we are. Answered that question for you. Uh, he's trying to gather building more... And gather a stronger army. You must gather your army before but, venturing forth. Oh yeah, he's getting caught there. Okay. 
bloody battles. But he has the manpower to keep tracking me. Right, sure? Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's, it's looking a bit grim if you're Yemen. Yeah. But I think Persia's growing here, but I'm really worried about their tech. Yes. He's I mean, they would lose to war against the good Gujarats. Well, I, even I think on even tech, definitely Sabaku would be struggling against Starnan. Starnan's yeah. made a bit, of a bit of a name of himself in the military thing. Kill was behind, Maul is far behind, Inca's mm. far behind. Yep. Brunei is not far behind. Brunei is doing rather well. Brunei and Canada. Ooh. Was it called Brumanica or whatever? What does he call his colonial nations? Well, he hasn't created a Canada yet. No. Huh. Brunada or? We've got Brumexico, Brulaska, Brumerica. He's con basically like... Tadoussac is up there. Oh, there's a request for a quick wee look at South Africa. And there we'll see everyone's favourite Bjorn B there. Pasai. Yes, Pasai there. Everyone's favourite moustache. Has got himself in there. Great Britain is down there. Yes. Britain. Canemborno is here and Malid. So, but what is Kilva doing? And, well, clearly just chilling. He's got a few loans. <coughs> Low on manpower. Yes. Yeah, there's a request there. Beyond B, if you're watching, the fans want you to take Luba, just so you know. Returning home. There is no Luba left, but you can free wherever they would have been. Got Lunda is close enough, same thing. I think it's like, okay, so Mali and Kilva are going to be like... Well, there's going to have to be a partition there. Some some sort of agreement or I foresee conflict. Oh. Because Ethiopia are allied with Kilva, Nugay and Persia. Canaburna with Mali. Yes. So will Ethiopia and Kilva versus Mali and Canaburna? Is that a fair fight? No. There's only one winner there. It'll be Ethiopia. And they've got themselves a little slice yeah, of they Yemen. Took, they took even more than I thought was. Well, it's a full state there. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Might as well take it. Yes. Nice state. I think I'll take it. So not that bad devastation yet. I uh, managed to get it pretty cheaply. You got the prosperity and... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, he's in a very nice position there. Uh, so Persia. Is sitting there again. That shape. That's yeah. not a very good strategic shape there. He needs to start polishing off things. Well... Or uh, is he going to attack the Nugai? No, but I think if he cleans up Yemen and Shamar. How's Tunis doing? Tunis is still Tunising. Tunis they, is going to Tunis. They're winning the war. What's... And they're taking back their promises. Yes. But it's Mali wa marching in. A Mali army here? Are yeah, they going to Mali the army? Oh, yep, he's got him running. He's got him on the run. Oh, yeah, he's, he takes that back with the fort. <laughs> I mean, he looks like he's going to lose this fight. Yes. Reinforcements right. from. Oh, this is going to be tight. We retreated. Just. But he. Tunis got the manpower. Well. Yes. Kind of burn. Let's get one arm. That's Mali's province now. Yes. Up oh, here. Oh, they and he has the fleet. Yes, that's the problem. Right now is that you know they cannot get over that over over to that fort. So 
well played by the AI here. Oh, Andy's back on land. This is... He's gonna go siege and he's marching down more troops. Too. Yep. Oh, people want to know if the Sikh religion has appeared. Has it? Do we care? Sure. Doesn't look like it. Oh no, there's some Sikhs down there. Where? There we go. Yeah. You have some Sikh. You have some Sikh goodness appearing. So they are the. Yeah, so we definitely have some Sikhs going on there. Jay, can you convert? Will he convert for a morale? Hmm. Oh, well, what does he have at the moment? Hindu. Hindu. Core creation costs, aggressive expansion impact. I wonder, will he go for, uh, think about going Sikh? Oh, so he's uh, converted Hindu already, I think, so he's... Yeah. Basically eradicating Islam from Yes, it's definitely an option. But India has been also oh quiet. 